Hey guys, welcome to McDonough Coaching for all things physio, personal training, nutrition, habit forming. So today's video is on mindful push-ups. Yes, I said it, mindful push-ups. So meaning not just smashing through push-ups and not thinking about what you're doing, it's about being mindful of what you're doing and really focus on the muscles that you're trying to contract being your pec and your triceps. Um, and going through it step by step. So again, similar to squats or pull-ups. Um, get your start. Let's start with the hands. So you're screwing like you were with the squats, screwing your hands into the floor or into whatever surface that you're pushing from. Um, so the right one clockwise, the left one anti-clockwise. Okay, and you're 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 essentially trying to do that. Yeah, and as well. In order to contract the pec, you're trying to pull your hands together. Because if you pull your hands together, you will feel the pec contract. Because the, the pecs do that and that. So, so you want to, like you're doing that. Um, secondly, elbows, we don't want the elbows flared out. You want to keep them in fairly close to your body. So I wouldn't, I'd say no more than 45 degrees angle to the body. And then if we go to shoulders and necks, you don't want the shoulders shrugged up. You don't want to be pushing here. You want to keep your shoulder blades back and down. The shoulder blades will uh, retract, protract and retract in this plane, but you want to, you don't want any elevation of the shoulders or scapula. Yeah, so it's here to here. So you will get And then if you go down to, you want to keep core, abs, and your um, glutes tight during the whole movement. Obviously, if you were doing bench press, you'd be doing the same thing. You'd be bracing your core or your spine. Um, and if you were, the more weight or the more difficult you find push-ups, the, the, the more you're going to need to brace your abs and glutes. And then lastly, feet together. Because um, if you bring your feet together, it's easier to keep your glutes squeezed rather than feet apart. Um, so I always try to keep them together. Um, so yeah, let's go to it. So I'm going to do them on an elevated surface to show you. Okay, and again, standard standard size is about just a little bit, maybe about shoulder width, a little bit wider. So again, it doesn't matter whether you're doing wide push-ups or narrow ones. Again, you the the technique is still the same. Even if you were doing a pike press up or a handstand push up, again you're screwing your hands into the into the ground, and then you're you're, you're imagining that you're trying to rotate. If you're using uh, Olympic rings, you would at the end of the movement turn out. Yeah, so you'd dip and turn out, so the thumbs are pointing away. And again, another reason for that is to prevent any rotator cuff impingement. Because if you're pushing in this position, you're compressing that supraspinatus tendon that runs runs through this little gap. So hence why you want to be pushing um, without your shoulder poking forward. Yeah. And if you start getting shoulder plane, you, you need to have a look at your technique, whether you're doing uh, getting shoulder plane with push-ups or bench press. It's, it's a technique problem that you need to correct first before you try to correct mobility. So you're always con con correcting motor control before you're correcting mobility or tightness of muscles. So always, always look at that. And um, so yeah, so coming here, elevated surface of so my feet are together. I'm squeezing my abs and my glutes. And again, I'm trying to, as if I'm rotating or screwing my hands into the ground. And my hands aren't moving. Okay, all the way down. So I'm trying to get my chest to touch, in this case, my box here, and then all the way up. So you're gonna, again, you're mindful in your, your screwing of your hands, you're mindful that you're contracting your glutes and your abs, you're mindful that your shoulders are down, you're mindful that um, you're going to a full range of movement. Obviously, if you're rehabbing from an accident, uh, an injury, you, you may not go to full range of movement, and then that's okay. But if you're not injured, you want to go through full range of movement. 
because you could you could probably smash out 50 someone can might might smash out 50 push-ups but they're, they're quality push-ups they're the full range push-ups and um, so you're you're trying to get your chest to touch the floor or the or whatever surface that you're pushing from all right cool thanks guys uh, like share comment um, and any suggestions of videos uh, ping them in the comments and uh, i'll do it cool ciao